what are you looking front of you here? This is the general view of all Dubai. Start from west, where there is a small lake known as Dutu. And to the east, where there is a small swamp known as Old Balbal Depression. So you're looking at the center of the gorge here, where two branches of this gorge come together. The main branch and the side branch. The main branch, you can see the riverbed under the big green acacia trees go down on the floor to go. But the branch started from Dutu. All the way this way. And join the side gorge bed first behind the red cliff. The two branches meet way down there, east as one branch. In time, the gorge was divided into five geological layers. For looking way down on the floor, the gorge you can see the black rocks. Lava that was the basement of the gorge, or flood, two million years ago. According to potassium, argon, dating, and so So above the black, if you're looking down on the right hand side, you can see the volcanic ashes, ash, our first layer, uh, 0.75 million years. And two different species of hominids was found within the first layer. The first found was Australopithecus, Boisei, or Zinjanthropus. The second found was Homo habilis, the one with the ability of using hands and making and using tools. So stone tools was found within the first layer. You're gonna see the specimens inside the museum in room number two. Below the red, right at the center, I see the gray ashes, second layer. 1.2 million and Homo erectus was found, the upright standing man. And Homo erectus, the one who made a very modified stone tools. So now we are talking about the Acheulean stone tools industry, characterized by uh, hand axes, hand axes industry. The third layer is already soil, but red soil is the river deposition from the highlands by the river streams one million years ago. Climate was too dry and hot to support life here. So no life, no remain, and the history remained behind it. But second, the nature of the red soil is not very good for <clears throat> preserving materials because it's more iron in contents. But sometimes when iron is combined with water, it turns into oxidation, which is more like a rust. So that's to destroy the material instead of preserving it. Above the red on the left hand side, you can see the volcanic ashes again, line number four, 800 to 6, goes up to 400,000 years ago, and Homo erectus was found again, layer number five, 100,000 years ago. Primitive Homo sapiens was found. So, four different species of hominids was found from this gorge here. And that's why this gorge became one of the worldwide known as a cradle of mankind origin because of the evidence which have been found here by the sun. Excavation is going on here every June, July and August because it's the season after the rain. So that is good weather for people to come and work here. Uh, universities working here. Uh, we have the uh, Complutense University from Madrid. Collaborates with Catalonia from Spain. We also have University of uh, Indiana in Denver from the US. Old Dupai is the correct name of this place, Maasai name for this plant here, uh, Saiso. The plant grows all over the place, as you saw on the way coming here, and has several uses, because people make ropes, and they're used for making baskets and the carpet stocker. During the dry season, animals, say elephants, baboon and goats, chew the plants to get water, because so this is one of the succulents plant. <coughs> The name of this place was mispronounced as Old Vi by the German entomologist who saw this gold earlier here in 1911 while studying about the insects because he was an entomologist. But instead of insects, he found a big number of prehistorical animal bones so that he decided himself to write. But in his information, he failed to write well the name of the site. So instead of Old Vi, Old Vi. That's where Old Vi become the worldwide world of this ecological site. Well, it's around now, since 1911. 
Apart from this gorge, 45 kilometers south, there is another site known as Laitori, the place where the hominid footprints was discovered. And the footprints was made by Australopithecus afarensis, uh, dated about 3.6 million years ago. So inside the museum, you're gonna see the reproduction of the original hominid footprints. Uh, we displayed in one room together with the reproduction from the original Lucy skeleton, which was found in Ethiopia. The skeleton was really very short, uh, one meter tall, or three feet and six inches, but the data is very old, 3.2 meters. So, is there any questions?